we we kind of wanted to do something different today your 20s is a really hard time and this is just some advice that we think would have helped us a few years ago building building is again is is so difficult but you can do it what up gang what's up what up what up what up <laughs> how you doing it's your girls and how you doing and how you doing and how you doing we are here I to talk it. to you guys today about discipline it is the secret ingredient to achieving anything in life so many people struggle to have discipline including myself including you probably over the years one thing you and i have really nailed down is discipline for the gym yeah and becoming disciplined in the gym has helped us become disciplined in other or areas have discipline. of our life. Yeah, exactly. It's really difficult yeah. to have discipline, but once you do nail down discipline, you reap your rewards. Mm -hmm. Putting in all this work, putting in all this effort, you will see rewards from discipline, mm -hmm. consistency. And that is so important for the gym and so many other areas of your life. One of the first things I think that you need or that anyone needs to do when trying to build your own self-discipline is to understand what's, what's motivating you. You can't force yourself to do something if you have no idea why you want to do it. The first question you need to ask yourself is, what motivates you? So for the gym, like what motivated me was that I didn't want to be skinny. Yeah, obviously. and I think a lot of people get started in the gym for different reasons, and a lot of women get started in the gym because of like appearance. appearance and insecurities and stuff like that like and men yeah and, and men, men too um i wasn't starting in the gym because i was skinny i was more on the other side of that i felt like big like fat mm. <laughs> yeah so I, even though i wasn't yeah. but i also like sorry this is where i was going with that i think it's interesting how your motivation will change too because now i feel like i don't work out so much for appearance as I do for like how it feels, how it makes me happy, um, just overall feeling healthy and productive. I would suggest, and I actually learned this in school, um, is to make SMART goals. So SMART goals are goals that are specific, measurable, um, A, okay. But oh, she looked it up, she's got the proof here. So what is it? So specific, um, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based. So that is a SMART goal. Yeah. So, yeah, I would suggest doing that for any goal you have in life. So, okay. um, so another um, tip to help build your self-discipline is to create micro-habits. A key to discipline, if you will. Small habits that you put in place to help you achieve a bigger goal in the long run. Yeah, I think micro habits can really help train yourself to become more disciplined. Mm -hmm. So some examples of some micro habits could be reading five pages from a book every day or drinking like, more water, um, maybe mm -hmm. practicing meditation, you know, exercising. Making, for, making your bed. Yeah, making your bed, journaling, um, and exercising for at least 20 minutes a day. Small or, little things that like slowly yeah. add up and they just like enhance your life so much but if so if habit. your overall goal is to be like super fit and you want to be like you want to put on size or you want to lose weight well first you need to start with some micro habits so maybe adding more vegetables into your diet starting to cut back on calories getting outside more and then over time you're gonna yeah like compound <laughs> interest yeah compound, compound interest in it'll pay off <laughs> i used to be terrible for eating for not eating breakfast i would skip it all the time and i noticed like my energy throughout the day was really low my like mental function was not where it could be ew um <laughs> it's just it's not good you need to eat breakfast so i started like slowly i would like i would do a banana and like peanut butter or yogurt and berries just something and then 
like after a good amount of time of doing that, I was like, wow, that makes me feel so much better. And then I learned more about nutrition and stuff like that. So I started doing like a high protein breakfast. It started as a micro habit and now it is so easy for me to get up in the morning and the first thing I do is make breakfast. Mm. And when I have a high protein breakfast, I notice my energy is high for the whole day. Mm. Um, I feel more motivated, I feel awake, I don't feel sleepy. It just helps so much. And to have that discipline at the start to just be like, you know what, I'm gonna eat something in the morning. Mm. Like get something in. That started as a micro habit. Yeah, for sure. I think another important thing we need to remember when it comes to having discipline is that it's not easy to have discipline and you're not gonna get that instant rush of dopamine. So I think we need to be aware of what gives us dopamine and like how it works. Like scrolling on TikTok, scrolling on Instagram, that's that's instant gratification. That's instant gratification, and I think, yeah. I think it's really important that we understand the difference between instant and delayed gratification. Exactly. So through doing acts that require discipline, like that's gonna lead, that is delayed gratification. So you have to remember, okay, down the down the line, this is gonna like really benefit my really life. Really pay off. And really pay off. And but it's- like scrolling on your phone mm -hmm. does nothing. No. It's actually, taking away your brain cells. and I think <laughs> exactly it's hard it's hard but we all do it like yeah course. every yeah. day it's it's like maybe I don't want to eat healthy today maybe that cinnamon bun looks real good to me you know like we have things like that tempt us into like giving up that discipline and that's okay to have a balance of course you know you don't want to be disciplined to the point where life isn't fun mm -hmm. and you don't have like some instant gratification but for the most part when you are disciplined and you are doing things on a daily like keeping those small habits and like really working on that kind of stuff the delayed gratification that you're gonna get later like later on is gonna be so much more fulfilling mm -hmm. because you did put in the work you did do that every day it was hard, but you did it. And that just feels so much better. Understanding what dopamine is and really thinking. <laughs> is this instant think. gratification? And I also think it's important though, I think it's important to celebrate small accomplishments that are for sure sending you in the right direction. Like if you woke up every day before 10 a.m., and you and you usually sleep in until noon. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's really awesome, and I think maybe you should celebrate that week. Another thing to think about that I think keeps me disciplined and probably would help for a lot of people is once you have one day of something under your belt, it's like why not do the next day? Why not do the day after that if you? So just start something. Something that you're going to try and be disciplined to do consistently and just do it for one more day. So yeah. for me, starting in the gym, it was so freaking hard for me. I had no idea what I was doing, which made it like less enjoyable. I remember I went for the first week and I went like maybe five out of seven days in the week. And I was like, you know what? Now <coughs> I have one weekend. Mm. Well, I'm you know, one weekend, so mm -hmm. then it pushed me to keep going. It takes 21 days to build a habit. The hardest part is starting. You first have to start, and then just start those micro habits. Do those for 21 days, boom, you have now created a habit. Mm -hmm. The more you start to learn about it, for, like, I'm just, I'm still talking about the gym because it's relevant. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's like one habit that I'm proud of that I do consistently. Once you get into it, it makes, like, once you have it buckled down as a habit, then you just do it every day. You don't even need discipline. Like, now the gym is my favorite part of the day. Mm -hmm. This is something that... Like I look forward to, it and I feel, feel like I, yeah, I feel like I couldn't live without it. But it takes time because I remember starting at 16, and I was like, oh god, I do <laughs> not want to go uh, to the gym right now. Yeah, I just want to sleep and stay yeah. in bed. And but I knew have like, abs. I wanted to, <laughs> yeah. 
but I knew I wanted a bigger butt. I was sick of being <laughs> called flat. I was sick of being told to eat, eat a burger. And I knew that I was the only person that could change that. So I got my ass up and went to the gym. Like not, I don't know, this might sound kind of mean, but I think I needed to hear it like a few years ago. You would just be like, just go. Just go to the gym. Yeah, just get up and so, go. It's so and easier it, said than done. It is. For some of y'all. <coughs> just get up and do it. I'm yeah. going to smack your ass out of bed. Just do it. You'll feel good. You will never regret a workout. You will no. never go to the gym and come home and be like, oh, I wish I didn't go work out. <laughs> One final quote that I just wanted to say that I heard from a podcast was that you can't hate yourself into self-discipline because self-discipline comes from a place of care and investment in yourself. What I would say is focus on the pleasure, like the small pleasures, the small accomplishments, and en enjoy the journey. It's a long journey, it's a hard journey, but if you can find the little pleasures in life, you're going to be such a happier, more positive person. I think that's something that I've really had to focus on on the past, oh. for the past like year, because I feel yeah. like I was closed-minded and always was I was always thinking so negatively about different things in life. <laughs> this is going deeper <laughs> than self-discipline. Yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all of the above, please. please.